Welcome to part two of this three-part guide from TP to WP. In this part of our guide, I'm going to show you how to convert the export file you just got from TypePad to a XML file, uh, WordPress's standard for importing data. So here I am at TP to WP.com. And if I scroll down and click on convert my data for $49, I'm brought to convert.tp2wp.com. This is where I'm going to upload that TypePad export file. So let's walk through these steps here. So I go ahead and put in demo at readymadeweb.com. There we go. So this is going to send us a confirmation when our conversion is complete. It may take a while depending on how big your site is. So my site's domain, I can reference that if I hop back to the tab I had open. This is from our previous video. Note that this is www.typepadwordpress.com. Make sure to include that www if it's in your site. Uh, looks like there. bringing over that HTTP is unnecessary. So each field will warn you if you're getting something wrong. So uh, if you bring in superfluous data, maybe an errant space here or there, it'll give you a warning. Next up it says, what's your TypePad account subdomain? Uh, for those of you who have been using your TypePad account forever, you may not remember what your address used to be when you first signed up, something.typepad.com. There's a quick way to figure this out. If I go back to the back end of TypePad, I have open here another tab, and I click on account, You can see here domain mapping. That's the third to the bottom item in that left hand menu. Domain mapping is going to give me a bunch of warnings here. I just want to scroll down and see what settings I already have in place. And there are our domains. You can see that www is there. So that's a good way to verify if you're using that www version of your domain or not using the www. But your mapped map to domain is here so this is the piece that we want is this thing that just proceeds typepad.com so I'm going to copy that go back to the uploader and paste that in there we go another green check mark isn't that nice now we have another question in here for folks who maybe have moved their their site from place to place when we moved to Andrew Sullivan's blog for example he had blogged with time he had blogged with the Atlantic before that he may have been at a another address by himself for that, so he had moved his site from domain to domain. For most of you, this isn't going to be something you need to check. If you do, it gives you some additional domains to type in. Let's leave that unchecked. In our case, we've just had our site at one URL. And now I want to choose my MTIF file. So I'm going to click Choose File. This is going to bring up a dialog box. You can see my my funky TypePad export file here. They're always named unnamed Comet Asset. There we go. What a wonderful file name. Let's hit choose. And now we can hit upload. This uploading process is going to be fast for us. Again, for you, if you have thousands of posts in TypePad, it may take a while for this processing to take place. So here it's telling us it's zipping up our WXR, and there we go. I have preview of my data and this isn't going to look exactly how your blog looks now but it is going to identify pieces of data so it's telling you this is your title this is the author the date the content and so far so good it has content and content author is, is the author all that looks great we also show you an XML preview if you're a developer this may make sense to you some people get alarmed when they see this when they see an image reference that's still pointing to typepad now that makes sense. We're, we're pointing to TypePad because this is where WordPress needs to import your data from. It needs to be able to see where your images currently live so it can bring those in to WordPress during the import part of the process. So all of this looks correct. When we get to the bottom of our menu here, we can click Purchase and Download. Here we're going to fill in all of our billing information. I'm not going to do this now. Uh, instead, I'll just tell you when you finish uh, this part of the process, you click purchase and download your converted data for $49. That'll charge your credit card that $49, and you'll get to a page that allows you to download one of two uh, WXR, or those XML formatted files. Most of you are going to want to select the one that includes your intros. 
for typepad users, this is always the case. So for 90, 95% of you, click the thing that includes intros. Excerpts aren't in. Here we also have an excerpt out version of the file. This is usually for movable type users who treat excerpts as really separate introductions to posts, a sort of post summary. So for 95% of you, click that uh, excerpts in or intros in version of the file, uh, download that, and then join us for part three, and I'll show you how to import that into WordPress.